Today, we are going to be flying 10 hours from Tokyo to Los Angeles in one of the top three business class seats in the world. 10 hours on this flight is going to go by way too fast. ANA is a Japanese airline that is consistently ranked one of the best airlines in the world, and they refer to this seat as the room. I've heard that it feels more like flying first class than it does business class because you have your own private fully enclosed suite. Today's journey is going to start in the ANA Business Class Lounge. We actually checked in six hours early, so we have plenty of time to enjoy it. Good evening from the Tokyo airport. It is currently peak travel season here in Japan because all the tourists are flocking here to see the Japanese cherry blossoms, which means that flights right now are crazy expensive. If we would have paid out of pocket, these flights would have cost over $12,000, which is just ridiculous for a business class seat. But because I use miles and points, we paid less than $100 each. Before we board, I wanna take just a minute to explain how we booked these flights for so cheap and how you can too. So the first thing I did was head over to a website called point.me. This website can really be hit or miss, but it's a good place to start your award search. And this time it did help me find an available award ticket. The website told me that these tickets were available to book through Aeroplan for 75,000 points a piece. So the first thing I did was head over to the Aeroplan website to verify this because you can't always trust point.me. It's really just good at pointing you in the right direction. Also, if you don't know, Aeroplan is the frequent flyer program of Air Canada. And at this point you might be thinking, I don't fly Air Canada, I don't have any frequent flyer miles with the program, so why is this interesting to me? If you use travel credit cards, there's actually a really good chance that you have a card in your wallet that can transfer points to Aeroplan. These are three of my go-to cards, and the points that I earn with these three cards can all be transferred to Aeroplan at a one-to-one -one ratio. So Capital One Venture Miles can be transferred, Chase Ultimate Reward Points can be transferred, and so can American Express Membership Reward Points. If you don't already have a card that earns these points, or if you need to top up your points balance with a new card, I highly recommend checking out our top travel credit cards page over at The Daily Drop. Every month, we rank the best travel credit cards on the market to help you know which card will give you the maximum value as a traveler. Okay, back to booking this flight. After I found the available award seats, I transferred points from my Chase account to Aeroplan. The points transferred almost instantly, so the last thing left to do was actually book the flight on the Aeroplan website. So in the end, I spent 150,000 Aeroplan points and less than $200 for these two business class tickets. Okay, I hope you found that helpful and it wasn't too hard to follow along with. If you're new to this, I realize all this stuff can be complicated, so we've done an entire write-up over at The Daily Drop. We've listed this process out step by step. So if you found the video hard to follow along with, definitely head over there. I'll link to that down in the description below. And now it is finally time to see what experience we bought ourselves for less than $200 and some miles and points. Okay, first impressions. It smells wonderful in here. And yes, we are um, still doing the mask thing in Japan. <sighs> These are my favorite kind of lounges. Not only is it absolutely gigantic, higher wall is a window overlooking the tarmac. There are planes moving around everywhere, landing and taking off left and right. There's a self-serve bar and so many veggie options. I could just cry. While I was over there, I saw there's a noodle bar, but you have to order and eat this and then go back. This might be my last bowl of noodles in Japan, and it's amazing. My goal was to be sick of noodles by the time we left, so I ate up every chance that I could. Unfortunately, I did not reach my goal. I don't even think I could count how many bowls of noodles I've had the last three weeks. We'll be here long enough and might be able to get another bowl. <laughs> you know, I'm a goal setter. I'm an overachiever. <laughs> we board in less than an hour, and I was gonna take a shower in Slovenia and I got this instead. It makes me do a text if the shower opens up. I think 18 people are in front of me right now. Normally I would shower before I came to the airport or only during a layover, but this morning was uh, early. Busy. <laughs> we stayed at a cat hotel last night, which sounded fun, but. Well. We didn't get a shower, but we did stay awake until our flight, which honestly is a win at this point. I still can't believe this morning started with cats. I'm still excited. I'm just 
10 hours and one of the world's best business class seats starts now. It's gigantic. This seat is so big. This seat could easily fit two people. This is much more of a bench than a seat. Maybe the widest seat I've ever had, including all of my first class flights. This sounds like super spoiled, but I actually love how close I am to the TV, where if I need to like reach up and hit it, sometimes it's just easier than figuring out the remote. And I feel like in our last couple of flights, it's been like eight feet away. The control center is really nice. Instead of it being on the armrest, it's just right here, where I can lean my seat down. I can put it in an eating position, which scoots me forward. The seat lies all the way flat, of course. We have lots of lights. Oh, mood lights. This storage compartment looks really nice. It's not the biggest storage compartment I've ever seen, but it has a mirror, which flips out. It's actually really handy. It's got little pockets. The outlet is in here. There's a USB, but there's really not that much space. One interesting thing about this layout is our seats are facing forward, like the direction that the plane is flying, but every other row actually faces backwards, which I feel like might give me motion sickness on a long flight. So if you are gonna book the room and you don't wanna fly backwards, make sure you book C, D, G, or H. I think those are the rows that face the front of the plane. They've given us one memory foam pillow and one regular pillow. The fact that we have multiple pillows is crazy. Then we have comforter. Oh, gosh, I just can't get over how big this couch is. Okay, once again, I hate how this sounds, but we don't have pajamas provided, but we do have slippers, noise canceling headphones, and it feels like Christmas. How cute is the amenity kit? It's a little like suitcase. Globe Trotter, it says. Looks very nice. Let's see what we have here. Classic eye mask and earplugs. Face mist, I love this stuff. It smells like eucalyptus trees. Ooh, lip balm. Toothbrush and toothpaste. That's all. Nothing too crazy, but I like it. Definitely keeping this. Well, people ask all the time if I keep these. And sometimes yes, sometimes no. It depends on how long I have to carry it. We're going home soon, so. If you don't like your neighbor, you have to awkwardly search for the button to hide them. Ah! I just can't fully enjoy myself if a complete stranger can see what I'm watching, what I'm ordering. It's just not as fun. But it's you, so. Also, I'm like, 99.99% .99 sure that I have a closing door on this side as well. I don't think I can do that until we get in the air. So potentially I have complete privacy on my mini couch. Not to mention it is super spacious this way, but also my feet barely make it to the footrest. All kinds of room. Only bummer about this flight is it leaves at 11 p.m. We're kind of expected to go to sleep semi soon, but this, wow. Cycling line, please. I'm not gonna lie, a and &A service is my favorite. The flight attendants are the nicest on this airline. Cheers. I'm gonna miss them so much. What an awesome trip. Three weeks in Japan went by way too fast. 10 hours on this flight is also going to go by way too fast. So I feel very exposed to my neighbor right now. It's not a floor to ceiling closing door like Eddie Hot First Class Triple Seven. <laughs> I have officially spoiled her. Not with money, with miles and points. Like some first class, there is actually so much space between you and the TV, it's like almost annoying. <laughs> So hopefully most of you watching this channel know who Mike is. He is our head writer over at The Daily Drop. And the crazy thing about this flight right now is we are actually passing each other somewhere over the Pacific Ocean. So he's flying Air Canada from Vancouver to Tokyo, and we're flying from Tokyo to LA. Somewhere over the Pacific Oceans, our planes are passing each other. Plant-based ramen. 
all my dreams are coming true. And I can order this anytime. Like when I wake up, I can get the vegan udon noodles. Maybe now I'll be tired of noodles by the time I land from Japan. If I get them two more times. They didn't do their full meal service, but you will never hear me complain about amazing ramen on an airplane. Here's the bathroom. Like I said, they didn't provide pajamas, but I brought my own. We flew Lufthansa first class on our way to Japan and we kept the jammies. The bathroom is pretty basic. It has some mouthwash, more toothbrushes, and as expected on a Japanese airline, there's a bidet. until almost 2.30 a.m. after waking up at 5 a.m. to deal with a cat that had peed on the chair beside me. I feel like I really made the most of this flight, but it's time to go to sleep. This bed is so comfortable. I wasn't quite sure about this mat that they gave us. It's kind of hard and it has like waves in it but I think it kept me cooler while I slept. I usually wake up really hot on planes. Slept through breakfast on purpose. For some reason, after having a bowl of ramen at 2 a.m., I wasn't hungry when I woke up. Bye, thank you. 10 hours later, we have landed in LA. And I have to say, the room definitely lives up to the hype. That is the widest seat I have ever sat in. Bye, thank you so much. Bye, thank you. I am going to share a travel hack with you that is so good that I hesitate to share it because I don't want to ruin it for myself. But there is an app, Mobile Passport, or I think it's MCP. So if you don't have global entry, it can be a huge pain getting back into the country. You have to wait in a long line. And in order to get global entry right now, it's almost impossible to find an appointment. So ours is expired, we don't have it, but instead of having to wait behind hundreds of people, we just downloaded this app. You answer a few quick questions. We waited in a line of five people and saved an hour of our life. M-C-B. You'll thank me later if you're coming back into the country. But don't too many people download it. I don't want the line to be long next. <laughs> if you want to learn how you can fly business class for hundreds of dollars, or if you just want to learn how to save money so that you can stretch your travel budget further, be sure to sign up for the Daily Drop. Every day, we deliver the top travel news, the best travel hacks, and the best deals so that you can become a better traveler and save a ton of money on your next trip. Just got an alert that my shower room is ready for me. Did you order it for you? 